Parkinson's law states that work expands to fill the amount of time available for its completion. If you place it in your mind that a project will take a week to finish, that's the amount of time it will take you to finish. If you think it's going to take a month, it will take a month. If you want it done in the next 24 hours, you will move through fire and hell to get it done in the next 24 hours. If you have no deadline, no project is there to be completed. I should know this better than everybody else watching. I'm both a notorious procrastinator and also able to move burning coals with my bare hands to get something done if it has to be done. You see, a long time ago I noticed this effect in myself. I have this wicked ability to get things done quickly if enough pressure is placed on me. Once I've noticed this, I've forced myself to go through a 365 days art challenge that involves making a piece of art every single day. And I did that. It was entirely possible. And in fact, the process of making the art piece wasn't as time intensive as it was soul intensive. On lazy days, I could get a piece done in like 30 minutes. It wouldn't be a great piece, but it would be done. Mission, lock target, shots fired. Every single fucking day without failure. Work expands to the time available for its completion. But work also compresses to the most efficient effort needed for its completion. The universe is parsimonious. It consistently chooses the path of least resistance. This leads to turning intricate mechanisms into elegantly efficient systems. By time restriction, you are channeling this parsimonious nature of the universe into any goal you have. After finishing this 365 days art challenge, I needed a break. Thinking that this newfound discipline of getting things done quickly would move over into other areas of my life. That would be a no-brainer. To an extent, it did, but not in the way I thought it would. Through this practice, I became a new person that knows, and I repeat, knows, that if you really want something, you can get it. But what eventually happened is that this affinity to action did not carry into other parts of my life. After the mission was done, I was left into a state of limbo for an entire year. I would have some ideas for projects, but I would simply not be able to get anything out of me anymore. Unless an idea would set a 10,000 degree fire under my ass. Nothing would get done. I would leave everything to chance, to the wind and the river. Which, in my ideal version of life, this is how all things should be. But why stick to that and not acquire more tools to manifest your desires into reality? I was frustrated, as this newfound lack of so-called discipline didn't seem to carry into my professional work life. My line of work is like being in the army. You never know when you could be sent from the sunny beaches into Normandy at a moment's notice. I thrive in these kinds of fast-paced environments. Working 22 hours on a film set and then relaxing. And I would have absolutely no problem getting work done. And in fact, due to the nature of my field, virtual production, 90% of my work is done before and during the shoot. A hard deadline that leads to easy and efficient work. I was bitter because I would be able to move mountains for other people. But I would be stuck doing nothing when it was for my own projects, my own life, my own fucking journey to the stars. I was missing two things. Clarity and the fire under my ass. I will be covering clarity in great detail in an upcoming video. But I got the gasoline to set your ass on fire right now. You see, I find that the best things I do happen in one go. We established that Parkinson's law states that work expands to fill the time available for its completion. As a counter argument, work compresses to the most efficient effort needed for its completion. It's time to flip the game on its head. What if we choose our time? What if we become time lords and get to use this law of a parsimonious universe to our advantage? Instead of going long days of forcing yourself to work hard every single time, 
and feeling bitter when you procrastinate and get nothing done. How about only allowing yourself to work for a hard set amount of time? What if you're only allowed to work for 4 hours a day? What would this change do to you? Suddenly, this mental switch leads you to getting things done. Sometimes for even more than 4 hours, unintentionally. Why is that? Why could this possibly work? It works because you've set the rules of the game now. And you're also the one playing it. Isn't it beautiful how the things we are repressed of end up being the things we desire most? Exactly. That's the trick. You are starving yourself of the choice of being able to work. And you end up making the most out of those 4 hours. Otherwise, you are grounded. And the thought of being grounded, not being able to do what you desire, creates a deeper discomfort than actually doing the work. This is how you can exploit Parkinson's law. You change the rules of the game so that it can only go your own way. Place a timer next to you. Set it to 2 hours. Press start. See what you can achieve in that time. The moment you start that motherfucker, you are now in a race. A competition with yourself. You are there to win. When you start the timer, you are now dropped into the arena. And the rules are now there to make you win no matter the outcome. To prove the point that this truly works, this exact script of a thousand words was written in an hour and a half. This was me choosing my rules for the games I play. Now, choose yours. Cheers for watching. Follow me on my socials, especially on the text-based platforms. Take a look at my website. I have some essays over there and a new product. If you like the look of my videos, I have a product called The Flavor. It is for you to get the exact same battery smooth colors I have in my videos with very little work.